Self-awareness is a superpower. Welcome to soul and vibration. So Venus and Taurus. Venus and Taurus is all about their pleasures. You know, um, Venus is actually at home in Taurus because Taurus is one of the signs that Venus rules, Libra and Taurus. So Taurus is the sign in our chart that is that rules over the second house or is ruled by the second house. And the second house talks about the things that we value, you know, and Taurus energy is a stable and is a stable energy that represents like basically our financial system and just the overall foundations and systems that keeps our societies going. The ones that have been passed along for generations and generations and generations. And these are the systems that actually brings values into our lives. So with Venus and Taurus, this is someone who appreciates um, stability because Taurus is an energy that is very stable. Venus and Taurus is someone that appreciates their pleasures. So this could be beautiful music, you know, their movies. And I find that these people may tend to rewatch movies because basically they're already familiar with what that movie has to offer and the pleasure that it's going to bring. So a Venus and Taurus individual um, won't have any trouble re-watching a movie where that's something that's extremely hard for me because it's like once I've seen it, you know, I want a new experience where the Venus and Taurus person, similar to Venus and Cancer, it's like they already know what to expect. You know, Venus and Taurus people really appreciate their foods, their food, and these people are the kind of people that will spend whatever it costs to live in a place that is, you know, aesthetically beautiful to them, you know, that they can afford. Um, you know, these are the type of people that's going to splurge on, you know, their comforts, whether it's getting their manicure, pedicure, um, hair done. You know, these are the kind of people that's going to spend on quality things. Quantity is not as important to these people as it is quality. Like quality things are extremely important. In a man's chart, um, they say that Venus shows that the kind of shows the kind of partner that he appreciates, the kind of partner that you know he would marry, the kind of partner that he desires. And Venus in Taurus in a man's chart shows that he appreciates a woman that is pretty stable, a woman that is um, somewhat traditional when it comes to her values. And earlier in the video, I mentioned how Taurus energy represents those systems and values that we've held on to for years that brings a sense of stability um, and, you know, brings a sense of Stability, and I'm going to repeat the word value again, value into our lives. There's a, um, you know, it adds to the foundation and there's some form of increase and in benefit overall. So yeah, um, a man with Venus and Virgo will appreciate that kind of woman. I find that people with Venus and, not Virgo, I'm sorry, Taurus. I find that people with Venus and Taurus tend to really appreciate things like education, the education system. Um, these are the people that don't tend to challenge the status quo when it comes to our systems, the ones that we've been building foundations on for years. And you might say you disagree, you're someone that challenges the status quo all the time. Well, of course, you know, according to other placements in your chart that might be so but just focusing on the taurus energy alone and when it comes to the things that you value if you're someone that does challenge status quo you might find that there's a constant back and forth within yourself with the venus and taurus where it's like you know you want to stick with the way things are supposed to be and you find value in the way things are supposed to be and the way things are supposed to be for you might just be what you saw growing up 
what you were told by your parents and caregivers growing up. So with Venus and Taurus, I feel like when it comes to your finances, these are the people that are very lucky when it comes to money. It's like, it's like with Taurus ruling money and Venus um, being in Taurus, I feel like, yes, you guys can be lucky when it comes to money and when it comes to spending your money. I feel like it is possible for you guys to be good savers, but at the same time, that might be challenged by you needing to, you know, have the finer things in life because with this placement, you own the reality that it is your birthright to experience all of the beauty, love, and laughter, and magic, and all the feel-good things that life has to offer, and you are willing to pay for it. I feel like with this placement, it's like you guys give good gifts. You guys give gifts that are high-end and high-in quality. Um, when it comes to marriage, I feel like these are the people that when they do get married, these are the people that take marriage seriously because again, it goes back to the point of, um, you know, the way things are supposed to be. So even if you didn't see your, your family um, or caregivers have long successful marriages based on what you may have seen on like social media or in the news or watching movies and things like that like you may develop your view when it comes to marriage off that and say yeah like when we get married we're supposed to be together forever um till death do us part another thing that i find with venus in taurus is that you guys could be very practical when it comes to picking a mate and practical in the sense that okay um is he or she um, does he or she have good enough genes um, or even physical beauty to add with the minds in order to have healthy, beautiful children? Another thing might be, um, okay, is does this person have the, the financial situation or career goals or ambitions for us to, you know, have a good life? because it is extremely important for you to have the finer things in life. So when you're picking your mate, like those are two things that are going to be extremely important for you. You know, um, appearance and basically stability, where for some people they might get married for love and for, um, what is the word? Um, when you're able to see, uh, something that's possible in a person but it's not fully there i can't think of it right now but basically you guys don't get caught up on um seeing potential in people you know it's all about basically like practical stuff you know i've known this person for a long time they're a decent human being they have good hygiene good health you know, they are able to take care of themselves. So can I? Let's make this happen. With Venus and Taurus, you might find that basically what inspires you is, you know, like I said, beauty. You might find that beautiful flowers or, you know, nature, planting, growing things because Taurus rules over our physical earth and things that build up our earth. Taurus rules over everything physical, and tangible that you can see on the earth plane. So with Venus here, you value the physicality of life. You value you value the things that you can touch, hear, smell, and feel. And I've already mentioned beauty is extremely important. It is the Taurus people that are extremely innovative when it comes to beauty and pleasure. Like say, for example, it'll be a Taurus or Venus and Taurus energy who will come up with the idea to carry an ice pack in their purse to an outdoor wedding on a hot day so that they can be, feel cool the whole time that they're out there, you know, because it's like, again, comfort is extremely important for this placement, you know? So yes, when it comes to Venus and Taurus, again, everything that has to do with the earth 
plain, everything that is, you know, that you can see, smell, touch, and feel is associated with Venus and Taurus and all of these things that brings you some kind of peace and pleasure is extremely important. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, um, comment below, and I look so forward to seeing you in the next video.